I would give up that medal to not have gone through what I did. One girl um, was pushed to the floor and dragged by her hair out of the gym uh, just because she couldn't get the choreography right. Yeah, it was great. I got to the Olympics, but at what cost? The shocking scale of widespread abuse of young gymnasts was laid bare today in a report commissioned following a tsunami of allegations revealed on ITV News, from physical and emotional abuse to weight shaming and barbaric punishments. It all happened on the watch of former chief executive Jane Allen, who the report says was inappropriately defensive. Would you like to apologise to those gymnasts whose lives were ruined? And less than transparent when confronted with the scandal, but at the time was allowed to retire. It's the care of the gymnasts. We've... Today, her successor did apologise to every gymnast affected. Most importantly, I need to say sorry to them. Um, the sport has let them down. We failed. We haven't put their welfare at the forefront of our, of the work that we do in our organisation. I was able to talk to some of the gymnasts this morning and able to say sorry to them personally. The White Review received over 400 submissions from gymnasts, parents, coaches and others involved in the sport. Of those, over 40% described physically abusive behaviour, more than 50% reported emotional abuse and over a quarter outlined excessive weight management. The review investigated whether a win-at-all-costs mentality at the top of Olympic sports contributed to the unacceptable culture in gymnastics that festered, unchallenged by its leadership, for so long. Why did UK sport not know the scale of this scandal? What I think is important to say is that we acknowledge that the processes prior to 2017, our processes of assurance, did not adequately identify these abuses and for that we are sorry. Olympian Jennifer McElveen, who spoke about her own experience to the review and leads a gymnast pressure group, believes today is only a start. One of the that actions we have that we've called for a long time has been a real and meaningful apology. So obviously it is great to hear that. Um, it's too little too late for hundreds of gymnasts that have had their testimonies told in this review and have told their testimonies to us. Um, but hopefully this can draw a line under the past and be a moment for change moving forward. The review into the darkest period in gymnastics history and perhaps of any Olympic sport concludes with 17 recommendations. They range from coaches' education to a more rigorous complaints process. Only if they're adopted and are seen to be working will this sport begin to win back the trust that evaporated many, many years ago.